this is a journey I have been in a beautiful place during all um, probably four weeks four or five weeks working with this amazing lady Lisa um, I am an international medical graduate a doctor from Honduras and that um, I came here you know because I needed to fix to uh, how can I say to deal with my emotion how to deal with my past um, uh, I feel a lot of pressure in my life during all these years uh, I went to med school mm -hmm. um, uh, I went to med, med school I, I love my career I love my professions um, I think that is this is my goal uh, in life. I have helped many people. Oh my God, I am <laughs> feeling like uh, losing on my, 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 my body, you know, <laughs> but it has been a great pleasure. It has been a, an honor to work with many, many patients uh, as a emergency room doctor. Uh, and now here in USA, I came seven years uh, seven years uh, ago without nothing about English you know and uh, uh, when I came here seven years ago and you know one week ago I changed my white coat my high heels and uh, the next week I was here you know with a backpack with a tennis <laughs> tennis and and you know just another student uh, enrolling, you know, trying to do the first thing that I have to do to start from the beginning, you know, learning as a two years old, three years old, uh, learning English. Um, I feel proud about myself. Um, I passed the summers and then it was very frustrated, you know, it was completely a new knowledge. Uh, it was completely a new culture, a new knowledge, new, 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 new uh, many things. Right now, I, it was a very convoluted moments during mm. that time. Uh, well, then I moved to California and that uh, start, I continued doing that and I, uh, I went and I get a certificate, a certificate as a, a, a physician assistant. And then, you know, I went to, after I got my certification, I went and I knock every day, I, I knock many doors in many clinics in Glendale and Bourbon. And every day when I come back, I came back at home without an answer. I used to tell me tomorrow it's going to be another day. And one day, I, I met two amazing doctors here in Glendale, and uh, they were in the waiting room talking, and I, I was there just, just waiting for the perfect moment to introduce me to myself and that um and what was the moment I say hey doctor may i speak hi my name is jenny and i present to myself and that they look at me and that i was with my resume my cv and i you know and that with my english i don't know but at the moment it was it was no good it's no good right now but i'm trying to do it you know um and then uh, I explained to them, you know, uh, eh, this is my CV, this is where I am. I would like to ask an opportunity to work. And you know what? It was amazing because uh, both of them, they gave me the job. One of them, he told me, I need an assistant for three days. And the other doctor told me, okay, come with me Thursday and Friday. So that day, it was an amazing opportunity for me because I got two opportunities. No one door was open. Two doors was opening at the moment. So, 
it wasn't amazing it was amazing and then they had they gave me the opportunity to be a doctor again again you know just working with both of them uh behind they in chat on them you know uh every day every day and it was amazing for me you know a, a meet to meet people patient you know from u.s um america you know philippines chinese thailand vietnamese spanish you know my <laughs> my latin community um italian patient you know right now i am telling right now every face is passing right now through my mind you know because i remember them i have been working with them for about three years from now so i decide to come back to school and uh, right now I am trying to uh, pass my medical board examination and tomorrow is my I have to go to the arena again you know the arena is that when the glad gladiators you know <laughs> <laughs> and um, I feel like that right now and uh, thanks Lisa she has been a wonderful support for me uh, patients uh, all the time during whole, my whole life I have been like a very close person you know and uh, trying to be oh, I can say how can I say like this trying to do many things in a perfect way that's mean has been exhausting for me uh, but um, I feel happy uh, thank you Lisa for your time Time. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your knowledge. You are a very knowledgeable woman. Um, and there is no words to describe right now how I am feeling, how I feel about you. Um, I and just thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I know that my day tomorrow, I'm going to be as a good gladiator, mm. you know, and that I have to diagnose 320 patients. <laughs> I will play in the arena the whole day, but it's going to be fine because I will focus on the patient, not myself. And that all of this i have learned from her so how to play how to how to build confidence how to to be less perfect you know it's okay <laughs> it's okay to commit mistake we are human beings how to be a human beings basically how to be a human beings so thank you lisa thank you for everything Actually, it is my honor and pleasure knowing you, Dr. Yanni. Thank you. Yeah. I can't wait to see you in your white coat again. <laughs> it will happen. Of course. Of course. It will happen. All right. <laughs>